Today, we're talking about slope style, one of the most extreme sports on the Olympic program. Slope style is like going through a skate park on skis or a snowboard. In a nutshell, riders make their way down a course of obstacles, throwing their hardest and most creative tricks to earn the highest score possible for each run. There are two types of obstacles, jibs and jumps. Jibbing is when an athlete uses an obstacle during the trick, like rails, boxes, you know, stuff like that. Jumps are self-explanatory, but in slope style, they're always pushing the boundaries on how far they can go. Tricks fall mainly into four categories, spins, grinds, grabs, and flips. Runs are scored on a 100-point scale by a panel of judges, but only your highest score counts. Scoring is based on difficulty, execution, amplitude, style, creativity, and overall flow of the run. Creativity is key. A creative run can help set you apart from the rest of the competition in the eyes of the judges. And now, three more things you need to know about slope style. Number one, each slope style course is different. That means course design plays a big role in every competition. Number two, slope style made its Olympic debut in 2014. And number three, the U.S. took three out of four possible gold medals in Sochi. Sage Kotzenberg and Jamie Anderson won in snowboarding. And Joss Christensen took gold in skiing to lead a U.S. podium sweep that included Gus Kenworthy and Nick Gepper. And in women's slope style skiing, Devin Logan took home the silver. To learn more about your favorite Team USA sports, head to teamusa.org.